dive into the enigmatic world of quantum mechanics, a realm where classical physics loses its grip and the bizarre takes hold. Quantum mechanics, a field that has long intrigued and perplexed scientists, is a realm of physics unlike any other. Its concepts are abstract, its rules counterintuitive and its implications nothing short of mind-boggling. In this realm, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, only settling into a definitive state when observed. This is the enigma of the quantum world, where the familiar rules of classical physics are turned on their head. Central to this puzzling landscape is the concept of wave-particle duality. In the quantum world, particles can behave as both particles and waves. This duality is not a mere theoretical curiosity, it's a fundamental aspect of quantum reality, and it's been experimentally confirmed time and time again. Then there's the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, another cornerstone of quantum mechanics. It asserts that we can never know both the position and momentum of a quantum particle with complete certainty. The more precisely we know one, the less precisely we can know the other. It's not a limitation of our measurement tools, but a fundamental fact about the nature of the quantum world. And let's not forget the collapse of the wave function, one of the most contentious aspects of quantum mechanics. According to the theory, a quantum system exists in a superposition of states until it's measured. At that moment, the wave function collapses, and the system snaps into one definitive state. But what triggers this collapse, and why does it happen? These questions have stirred much debate and remain unresolved. Let's begin our journey into the quantum realm, a journey that promises to be as enlightening as it is perplexing. Enter the wave function, the mathematical magician that paints the quantum landscape. Our journey begins in the early 20th century, when a man named Erwin Schrödinger, intrigued by the mysteries of the quantum world, came up with a revolutionary equation. This equation became the cornerstone of quantum mechanics, setting the stage for a new era of scientific exploration. Schrödinger's equation, although seemingly daunting, is a central player in this grand quantum symphony. It is the key that unlocks the door to the quantum world. It describes how the wave function of a quantum system evolves over time. But what is this wave function, you may wonder? Well, it's a mathematical function that provides us with crucial information about a quantum system. Yet the wave function isn't just about numbers and equations. It encapsulates the very essence of quantum mechanics, its inherently probabilistic nature. You see, in the quantum realm, things aren't as straightforward as they are in our everyday world. Here, we can't exactly pinpoint where a quantum object is at any given moment. Instead, what we have is a cloud of probabilities, a realm of possibilities, all described by the wave function. The wave function provides us with the probability of finding a quantum object in a specific location. It's like a map, but instead of roads and landmarks, it outlines the probabilities of where you might find the object. And just like the peaks and troughs of a wave, the wave function also has its highs and lows. These highs represent areas where the quantum object is most likely to be found, while the lows suggest areas where it's least likely to be. So the wave function, in essence, is our guide in this bizarre quantum landscape. It helps us navigate through the uncertainties, providing us with a sense of direction in an otherwise bewildering realm. It's the mathematical brush Schrodinger handed us to paint our understanding of the quantum world. Now let's dissect the wave function, the mathematical heart of quantum mechanics. The wave function, often denoted by the Greek letter psi, is a mathematical description of the state of a quantum system. It's a complex valued function, meaning it incorporates both real and imaginary numbers, which allows it to account for the peculiarities of quantum phenomena. First, let's talk about the complex number. It's a number that can be expressed in the form of a plus by, where a and b are real numbers, and i is the imaginary unit. This complex number is essential to the wave function because it allows for the representation of quantum superposition, where a particle can be in multiple states at once. Next, we have the amplitude of the wave function. The amplitude, represented by the magnitude of the complex number, gives us the probability density of the system. In other words, it tells us the likelihood of finding a quantum object in a certain state or position. 
The square of the amplitude, often referred to as the probability density, gives us the actual probabilities, which always sum to one. Lastly, let's delve into the phase of the wave function. The phase is given by the argument of the complex number, and it provides information about the rotation of the quantum state in the complex plane. While the phase doesn't affect the probability density, it is crucial for understanding interference phenomena in quantum mechanics, such as the famous double slit experiment. The wave function, with its complex numbers, amplitudes, and phases, provides a robust mathematical framework for describing the enigmatic quantum world. As we stand on the precipice of the quantum age, what does the future hold for quantum mechanics? The future of quantum mechanics is as unpredictable as the particles it studies. Yet it's clear that our understanding and manipulation of the wave function will be instrumental in shaping this future. The wave function, with its intricate mathematical representation of the probability of finding a quantum object at a specific location, holds the key to several exciting research directions. Firstly, let's consider quantum computing. Traditional computers use bits, which can be either zero or one. Quantum computers, however, operate on qubits, which can be both zero and one simultaneously, thanks to the principle of superposition. It's like having a coin that's both heads and tails at the same time. This means quantum computers could potentially solve problems that are currently intractable, even for our most powerful supercomputers. The wave function with its ability to describe superposition will be integral to the design and operation of these quantum computers. Next, we have quantum encryption. It promises an unprecedented level of security in our communications. By exploiting the wave function's description of quantum entanglement, where particles become inseparably linked, no matter the distance separating them, we can create encryption keys that are virtually impossible to crack. Any attempt to intercept these keys would immediately alert the communicating parties, making eavesdropping futile. Finally, there's quantum teleportation. It might sound like science fiction, but it's a very real possibility in the quantum world. By manipulating the wave function, we can teleport information from one location to another without any physical medium. This could revolutionize how we transmit information, making our communications faster and more secure. As we delve deeper into the quantum realm, the wave function will continue to guide our way, illuminating the path to a future where the quantum and the classical worlds intertwine. The quantum age is upon us, and the wave function, our mathematical guide, will be pivotal in realizing its potential. As we delve deeper into the quantum realm, the wave function raises as many questions as it answers. This mathematical gem, while incredibly useful in predicting physical phenomena, also opens up vast philosophical debates about the nature of reality. Let's start with the Copenhagen interpretation, perhaps the most well-known interpretation of quantum mechanics. According to this perspective, the wave function represents our knowledge of the system. It collapses upon measurement, and the quantum entity is forced to choose a state. But this collapse is shrouded in mystery, and the randomness it implies seems at odds with the deterministic laws of classical physics. Then, there's the many worlds interpretation. Here, the wave function never collapses. Instead, every possible outcome of a quantum event actually happens but in a different universe each of these universes is as real as the one we perceive creating an infinite web of realities it's a mind-bending idea and it raises questions about the nature of consciousness and identity there are other interpretations too each with its own unique view of the wave function for instance, the pilot wave theory suggests that particles have a definite position at all times, guided by a pilot wave. The transactional interpretation proposes that wave functions can move both forwards and backwards in time, opening up fascinating discussions about causality and the nature of time. In the quantum world, the wave function serves as our guide, leading us down a path of discovery and debate a path that continues to challenge our understanding of the universe and our place within it.